ourselves, we cannot engage right now with him because one of fact, before we can even agree to even talk to him, he must first acknowledge in public that President William Ruto is the President of Kenya. So, the issue of us having a discussion does not even arise because he says he doesn't recognize William Ruto as President. So, how would you talk to somebody who doesn't recognize your legitimacy? Deputy President Rigadi Gashagua declared that as a mayor chief, Kaya Odinga must recognize William Ruto as a president before they could engage in any kind of talks. Speaking during a church service in Madeira, Gashagua clarified that the talks brokered between Raila and the parliament are not between him and the president. He insisted that it was Raila Ondinga who approached Ruto on April 1st, seeking a way out after hitting a dead rock with a mass action. Last Saturday, sent him somebody say, we have come to the end. The international community has abandoned us. People are against us, the church. We want to call off these demonstrations. Can you please give us an exit strategy? The president said, okay, fine, no problem. Go to parliament and discuss with Gemani Ichomwa, with Wandeto, with uh, Wahome. Go and say what your issues are. Those people listen and make a decision. As we have nothing to do with you, the president called me, it was on a Sunday, he told me what they had told him. I said, fine. Let them go and talk to parliament. But ourselves, we cannot engage Raila Odinga because one and five, before we can even agree to even talk to him, he must first acknowledge in public that President William Ruto is the president of Kenya. So the issue of us having a discussion does not even arise because he says he doesn't recognize William Ruto as president. So how would you talk to somebody who doesn't recognize your legitimacy? So we said, tell your MPs because they are elected to talk to ours. Isn't it? But as we cannot talk to Raida on what ground, who is he in Kenya? We talk to him as who? He's just an ordinary citizen. Lakini kama hako na matatizo ya kibinafsi akuja tumusikize. But we cannot have an engagement with Raila Odinga because who is he in Kenya? He's not elected by anybody. And if he says he doesn't recognize President William Ruto as president, how, how can we then have a discussion? So let them go to parliament and engage our members of parliament. Waishimua mutatuambia vila amesema. Nyinyi mumusikise as we have no time. Atuna nafasi, we are busy. In a thinly veiled attack, he noted that Raila could not measure up to him or his boss because he did not have the authority to speak on behalf of the people since he was not elected by anybody. He also saying that some of his demands were a purge above his weight. The DP called out Raila over his silence over the cost of living and the state of the economy during the handshake regime. He argued that if he had raised an alarm, things would not have escalated to the current levels. His sentiments came amid heated exchange between him and Odinga over the truth and who reached out first to the other for a ceasefire. About, uh, 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 you know, I want to make it very clear. We have never talked about a handshake. That is a language coming from the other side. They are the ones who have been saying, all oh, these people on attack to handshake, Nusumukati, and so on. Take it to Mr. Gachagua. Tell me, I don't even want to shake his hands. <laughs> <laughs> on April 6th, ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna Revealing that the opposition chief had instructed them to ignore any 
comments concerning the bipartisan talks except those by Ruto. Sifuna explained that Raila did not want any comments that would jeopardize the currently broken truth and ordered that any communication on the same should be made from him. Moja nataka kuweka wazi ni kwamba sisi tumefika wakati ambapo hatutawasikiza baadhi ya watu waliomo ndani ya Kenya kwanza. Tutangojea rais mwenyewe ama Ruto mwenyewe azungumze kwa sababu yeye ndio mwenye kuanzisha huu mchakato. Mimi sioni tofauti kubwa uh, kati ya pendekezo alilolitoa uh, Ruto na pendekezo ambalo Azimio limetoa kwamba eh, kwa sababu sheria za bunge sio sheria za mazungumzo ni sheria za mjadala. We unajua. Kwa sababu tukiwa pale ni vigumu sana ku, uh, kufanya mazungumzo ya kiwazi mkiwa ndani ya majengo ya bunge. Tumesema wacha hata wale ambao wanawakilisha hii muungano wawe wabunge wa lakini wafanyie mazungumzo hayo nje pasi na kubanwa na zile sheria zilizomo ndani ya bunge wewe unazijua vizuri kwa hivyo e, wale ambao wanazungumza kwa sasa kwa sababu sisi mheshimiwa Raila ametuomba kwamba katika semi zetu huku nje tusitoe sehemu ambazo zitapelekea kuchafua e, mandhari ambayo yanatakiwa ya ku, e, kuwepo ili tuweze kuzungumzia masuala ya wananchi azimio named seven members two senators and five MPs who would represent the party in the talks with the Kenya Kwanza government. Kenya Kwanza on its side is scheduled to unveil its representatives on Tuesday the 11th when the faction holds its parliamentary group meeting. Okay. Sisi tunataka mazungumzo haya yawe mazungumzo ya wazi na tuwa, tuyaweke kipaumbele masuala ya wananchi. Kama hawawezi kushukisha bei ya unga, hakuna haja ya kuzungumzia jambo lingine lolote. Okay. Mwisho kabisa mnarejea maandamanoni wiki ijayo. Iwapo unga hautashuka. Na nataka ungojee utasikia eh, vile ambavyo mkutano huu uta, uta, uta resolve. Iwapo kufikia wakati ambapo Yesu anafufuka. Bei ya unga haitakuwa imerudi chini hakuna ya lingine lolote la kuzungumzia tutarudi kwa wananchi tuseme hawa ndugu zetu mlitutuma tuwaitishie bei ya unga irudi chini wamekataa kutusikiza mwananchi atupe mwelekeo asante sana asante